Hey, what is up guys, it's Mr. Fantastic here, and iPhone 12 design has leaked. What you're seeing right now is going to be the official design of iPhone 12, but we'll talk about it later in a video. iPhone 12 is going to be Apple's official flagship phone, in case you're wondering, iPhone 9 or iPhone SE 2020 that I talked about in the previous video is going to be a cheaper iPhone. So if you haven't seen that video, link is in the description down below or here in the iCard. Now, iPhone 12 is going to come out in the fall of this year and there are going to be 4 models of it, iPhone 12 R, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. iPhone 12 R and iPhone 12 are going to be pretty similar spec and they are going to be a bit cheaper than the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max iPhone 12 R is going to rock 5.4 inch display whereas iPhone 12 is going to rock 6.1 inch display and both of them are going to rock dual cameras and aluminum frame and as of iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max both are going to rock quad cameras, stand stainless steel body and a much higher price tag so keep your kidneys ready iPhone 12 Pro is going to pack 6.1 inch display and Pro Max is going to pack 6.7 inch display. As of the notches on them, they are still going to be there on them but a bit smaller as their notches have important components needed for 3D facial scanning and face ID so they can't ditch that. Personally I would have liked it if they had a punch hole camera like on P40 Pro that still supports 3D facial scanning but it is what it is. All of the iPhone 12 models are going to have OLED panels even on cheaper models instead of LCDs. So that is a very good thing because LCDs are a bit outdated in my opinion. And all iPhones are also going to have the much needed 120Hz refresh rate meaning that they are going to be super super smooth. Speaking of internals of them, we can expect to have 6 gigs of RAM, maybe up to 8 gigs of RAM but it still isn't quite confirmed. You can have up to 512 gigs of internal storage, no micro SD card support, obviously, and Apple's brand new A14 Bionic chip that is going to be the world's first chip based on 5 nanometer process, which is absolutely insane, and it is also going to be there. It is going to be unbelievably fast and possibly going to edge out every chipset in the market, but by that time, a Snapdragon 865 Plus is also going to be out there as well as Kirin 1000 by Huawei would also come out later so there will be a tough competition. Now the part that is the most exciting one. Both iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max are going to have quad cameras as I told you earlier with 12 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, 12 megapixel telephoto camera so no periscope lens as of now and fourth sensor is going to be a wider sensor like we've seen recently on the recently released uh, iPad Pro it is going to be a big time of flight sensor or in simple words it is going to be a big depth sensor used for depth sensing so you can have much better portrait shot and much better AR experience as of iPhone 12 R and iPhone 12 they're just going to have dual cameras so 12 megapixel main camera and 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and the design you're seeing right now is going to be the official design of them and camera module was leaked by a patent there's going to be a square camera module housing 4 4 cameras so on iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max the camera module would have these two cameras up top and two cameras down at the bottom and with the lighter sensor on the down right corner and LED flash in the middle some rumors also suggest that iPhone 12 body is going to be like the old iPhone 4 with that boxy design that was very very iconic by the way. But it, it may or may not happen so it is not confirmed at this point. And as obvious there is going to be a frosted back glass on it with a matte finish and Apple logo in the middle. There is still going to be no type C cable, there will be lightning cable still and in fact the next year iPhone isn't even going to have a port at all so you're gonna charge your phone with the wireless charger only and as expected there is going to be no headphone jack on it currently I have no information about the battery sizes of them or color ranges but I'll keep you guys updated as of the pricing of that I don't yet have much information about that 
but they're going to be expensive so keep your kidneys ready and they're going to launch in october or november because of the outbreak as we all know also i have a correction from the previous video so iphone 9 is going to be called as iphone se 2020 as the current release suggests so keep that in mind with that being said thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on drop a like on this video follow me on facebook instagram and twitter at mr fantastic tech to keep updated and i will catch you guys in the next one